You need to create an IAM policy if you want your IAM user to access the shared autonomous database using the IAM database token. To create a policy, first let's make sure that you have the group created. And you go to Identity Security under Groups. Now we've already created this group, but uh, let's go through the steps. You hit the blue button to create the group, create the user, um, uh, the name of the uh, group that will be accessing your databases in your tenancy. Provide some hints. Now we've already created the same uh, group here, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel this. But this uh, is the group that you name in your policy. You can already see I have a member of this group uh, to be able to access databases. Let's go back to identity. I already have the user uh, group that I need in the policy, so now I go into the policies. I'm going to create a policy. And I'm going to call this uh, DB users access autonomous database. I'm just going to leave it autonomous. All right, I have some hint here. I'm going to create this using a policy builder. And you can see the policy here. Allow the group DB users, that's the group that we had created, or I had already created earlier, to use autonomous database family. Now this includes the database connections um, resource. And this allows them to access any of these data, autonomous databases, shared autonomous databases, in the tenancy. And you must use either the use or the higher level manage uh, verb for this policy. Create this. And there you go. That's the policy that will allow you to access any autonomous database in the tenancy for users that are members of that, uh, that group. Now, I also created two other uh, policies just to show you that you generally wouldn't have all three of these active at one time. Um, you, in this particular one, you see the same sort of uh, uh, access to tenancy using the database users as a group, but you'll notice we're using database connections the, uh, as, a, as a resource uh, for, uh, for this policy. It allows you to access if there's anything other than ADBS that, um, that you could connect to, uh, this will allow that, but in this case, this acts the same as using an autonomous database family. Now, what, up, what about the more common case of where you want to actually uh, constrain access to a particular compartment? So you can do that through the policy. Uh, instead of setting it for the, uh, for the tenancy, you can call it for the compartment uh, production compartment or whatever compartment you may have.